Welcome back to The Mailbag. My name is Ian Miller. Today we're going to talk about how to secure an ice axe to your Shimoda bag. I've used a few different ice axe loops in my day. Uh, there's some that slide into little sleeves, uh, some with little loops up here. But my, I've always found that the classic loop works the best. It has a, a bit of adjustment to it and you can position it in, in more positions based on what's inside your bag because that often dictates uh, how the axe is going to actually fit on your bag. So I'm going to show you right now how it works. So you basically just want to drop, drop it into the loop like so. And the whole idea of the loop is that once you drop it down, you just fold it up and it can't go down. Of course, you'll want to fasten it by the top, like so. So that's mounted on right now. Now it's not it's not too tight, just because for the demonstration of this video. But if I wanted to secure it even more, I can use the bottom strap to secure it tighter. I can always secure this tighter. But I'm going to show you another technique you can do. So if you want it into a more precise location. You'll just wanna take your top compression strap, slide it under. So you have this position. You can see the webbing coming out here. And then that will create a little, a little loop here. And that keeps it off to the side, just like that. So it's a pretty simple technique and um, that's, that's how you mount an ice axe to your Shimoda backpack. Now there is one more thing I want to show you. A lot of times we'll use an axe while hiking. So generally if I know I'm going to be doing uh, a lot of crampon hiking, uh, I prefer to use this because uh, instead of using a pole or something, it's longer and it, it just makes it a lot easier for, for walking rather than walking with a kind of a hunch. There will be times when you need both hands and you have an axe in your hand. Uh, you can have a leash, but I find, and the leash will attach to your wrist, but I find the best technique for me is when I'm hiking and I need both hands is to just drop it in this loop, gear loop here. This works perfect. It's not going to fall out and it allows you to access your camera, of course with your hands, but also if you need to do a scramble where you don't want to be holding your ax. So I hope that helps any of you ice ax users out there and uh, we'll see you next time on the mailbag.